the butter said me or like this hair literally like it's just like this is this is my hair like what's up this is mine what's good wow, no, no, no. tell me what you want i go repeat tell me what you need i go need it hi guys welcome back to my channel bienvenidos nuevamente a mi canal so for today i am going to be showing you guys how i install my wigs we're going to do it from scratch we're gonna bleach the knots um take out the lace and do all that jazz like you're gonna do everything start to finish and i've been saying that i'm gonna do hair on my channel but i haven't gotten around to actually doing it uh so i was like you know what i just got a new wig let me go ahead and film the whole process of me putting on my wig basically so if you guys want to know como yo me pongo mi peluca si quieren ver como yo me arreglo mi cabello de principio a fin if you guys want to see how i'm gonna do my hair then keep on watching let's get into the video <laughs> The wig that I'm using today is from um, Beauty Forever Hair. It comes in a package like this. What comes in this, um, you have a wig cap. This is a black wig cap. I no longer do the wig cap method just because it takes too much time. I mean, I do it depending on what I'm going to do. But normally I just take my wigs on and off and I don't really do much so there's no need for me to do the whole wig cap method like no uh, And if I do it, I use like the one that she has on I don't necessarily use the black one because I feel like it's pointless If you want to protect your hair to get put this cabello, you'll definitely use a wig cap It comes with adjustable straps that you can put on your wig And then we have the wig itself. I've been dying to have curly hair for like I don't know the longest and I'm actually the black curly hair and I haven't done that since I want to say I haven't had black curly hair Como que 2017, 2017 I think so it comes like this. This is the wig uh, It has a little netting the hair is super soft It feels really 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 soft and I believe this is 24 inches I think I got 24 inches. Okay, so I got the details right here. So my hair is Beauty Forever Malaysian Curly Hair Wig. This is a 13 by 4 uh, lace front wig. 150 density and 24 inches long. Those are the specs of the hair. I will leave the links, los enlaces, for everything I'm going to use. I will leave it down below. It's cute, it's cute, it's cute. We like it, we like it, we like it. I'm literally running my fingers through the hair and it's not getting caught up, like it's not shedding. We're just going to bleach the knots. una cabecita, una cabeza. Mine is hella dirty. Don't worry about that. We're gonna put the wig on backwards. Here we have a little mixing bowl. Uh, don't mind the brush, it's like hella dirty because i was using it <laughs> prior to this okay i just had to put an old towel on my desk because i was not trying to dirty my desk no we're gonna take this blonder um bleach powder from vela i'm just gonna take uh, a spoon like this i'm just gonna put it in here so now i'm just gonna take some 40% developer It's like a pasty type of um, bleach I want to say so I want to say this is fine So now I have my wig right here. This is the part that we're going to bleach Okay, so this is basically what the wig is looking like. 
Okay, so I rinsed out the bleach and I'm just setting the wig back on my wig stand just so I can start plucking the hairline. So ahora vamos a entrar con una pinza para eh, afinar la línea del pelo para que se vea más natural. So we're just gonna pluck to it looks until it looks natural and just customize it to your hairline. That's basically what we're doing. This wig came pre-plucked, so I didn't actually need to do much to it. I just prefer to pluck it myself as well, even if it is pre-plucked, just because it looks better, it looks more detailed, and it just matches my my hairline better. And it's just customized to my head. Um, Solamente para que se vea más natural para ti, para tu cabeza. Es mejor hacerlo con una pinza. I didn't explain while I was doing this, but it's really self-explanatory, I would say where you can see I'm just dividing a little bit I'm taking section by section and I'm taking my tweezers and I'm just tweezing out parts of the hair moving up and down up and down up and down make sure not to over tweeze make sure not to be stuck on the same place so siempre tienen que estar moviéndote no te quedes eh, jalando pelo de un solo lugar porque si no se te va a quitar demasiado pelo de un solo lugar so tienen que seguir moviéndose para arriba y para abajo para arriba y para abajo that's basically what we're doing here so you guys can just enjoy while I do that This is definitely really time consuming. This is a time consuming process, but I really recommend to just take the time and do it. This took me about 30 minutes just to plucking alone, but it just makes or breaks your wig. It's literally what it is. Este proceso se tarda su tiempo. Esto me tardó algunos 30 minutos, media hora, pero te lo recomiendo porque realmente eso hace la peluca completa, eso te completa la peluca. I'm back. As you guys can see, I just uh, braided my hair. Um, we're not gonna talk about my braid though, because I don't know how to braid. Yo no sé the hair for nothing in the world. Like, I just did something to just get my hair back, okay? I just plucked it as you guys saw. So I just wanted to show you guys um, the shedding and stuff. This is how much the wig shed when I ran my fingers through it while washing it. So, esto fue lavando la peluca. This is how much that came out. And I was just running my fingers through it. This is how much I plucked out of the hair. This is not shedding. This is literally me plucking the hair. So, esto fue cuando yo lo saqué con una pinza. El pelo que le saqué con pinza is this right here. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. It does come with like adjustable straps. Uh, the wig that you can use. Like this. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut off this part. So, I'm going to cut esta parte de aquí. I'm just going to put it on my head to see how it fits. It fits pretty snug on me, I would say. Literally, it's just like perfect. It's. I think I'm gonna keep plucking it though. I could literally, oh my god, I could literally wear this wig glueless. Yo no puedo poner sin, sin, sin ega, sin, sin nada. Básicamente porque me queda perfecto a lo justo. I'm just gonna remove the wig again. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Voy a coger un poquito de mi base. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Then I'm gonna take my brush. Okay, so now my lace looks like this. Now, me la vamos a poner de nuevo. I'm gonna put it back on. Ooh, chile. I 
I, I'm gonna take the tweezer and I'm gonna pluck it a little bit more. So, cuando le estén sacando los pelitos, no exageren porque con el tiempo, cuando se va usando la peluca, el pelo naturalmente se le va a ir cayendo de peinadas y arracadas y todo eso. So, si tú le sacas demasiado pelo con la pinza ahora en este momento, después de un tiempo, o sea, se te va a agatar más fácil la peluca porque después de un tiempo ya no va a tener pelo ahí adelante. Yo creo que ahora estoy más satisfecha con eh, cómo se ve el, el cabello. Voy a coger un poquito de mi hairspray. I'm just gonna spray en mi pelo aquí un poquito. Esto que sobresale de la oreja no los vamos a cortar. I'm just gonna cut the excess that is going like on top of my ear, from behind my ear, whatever you want to call it. So for my lace glue, I'm going to be using the Ghost Bond lace glue. Todo lo que yo use en este video lo voy a poner abajo con su enlace directo donde lo puedan comprar. Yo voy a coger un poquito de alcohol. I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. I'm just going to wipe my forehead. Before I apply the lace glue, so I'm sure that I don't have anything there. I'm going to take a popsicle, una cosita de lado. I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue and oh. No se pongan demasiado, you just take, um, I just put on a lot, but you can just take a thin layer first, let it dry, and then you do the next. I would recommend that rather than <laughs> whatever bullshit I am doing. So I'm just going to take alcohol, I'm just going to wipe off that little excess here because I know I'm not going to need that. And then when it's dry, cuando se está secando, we're gonna do the same thing again. Yo me lo pongo tan ce lo más cerca posible que puedo de mi, de mi propio, de mi cabello, pero no encima de mi cabello. Justamente adelante. Like, I put it as close as I can to my hairline, but not on my actual hairline. Like, I avoid my hair. So now that it's dry, this is the moment of truth, okay? I'm gonna take my peine de palito, my rectal comb, and I'm just going to, first, I want to put this down. You guys can see the little white thing. Eso es de, de la ega que se me pegó de, the lace, but it's fine. So, ahora cojo el peine, and I literally just, like, comb my hair back. And make sure que no se te peguen los pelitos, sino solamente que se te pegue la tela y no los pelitos de la tela. Wow, yo he tenido mejores aplicaciones que esta. So now I'm just gonna um, split this right here. But I'm gonna split it right here. Lo voy a cortar un poquito en cada lado. Now, voy a hacer lo mismo aquí y aquí, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the sides, and then I'll be back to like cut the lace.
Okay, so basically what I do now, I've already glued everything and I am in love with this hair. Este pelo tan bonito and it's so good quality. Like, it's so soft. It's como tan suave. So like everything. Oh my God. So now I'm just going to take my headband as I always do. This is the same headband. Like, oh my God, this should have been through it. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to wrap my hair. So uh, I just clipped my hair up. Me lo puse para arriba con un ganchito. And then I'm just going to take my headband and I'm just going to place it like this and just let that melt. Um... I don't know for how long <laughs> just whenever I feel like I'm ready Okay, so básicamente eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Yo me lo voy a dejar puesto unos cuantos minutitos. Eh, también lo que pueden hacer, pueden coger el blower y echarse aire, que no sea caliente, que sea aire frío. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit and then I'll be back to check in with you guys uh, when I'm going to remove this and cut the lid. It's been like a few minutes. I'm impatient as fuck. I don't feel like waiting anymore. I'm just going to remove this. Ya pasaron par de minutos, uno cuantos minutos, uno cinco. Entre cinco y diez minutos, no sé, algo así. Um, so ya me voy a quitar. Bueno, ya me lo quité, me quedo diferente. And this is what it's looking like. Vamos a usar una... Un cuchillo, una gile, una gile. We're gonna use a eyebrow razor. Eyebrow razor, is that what it's called? I'm just gonna... Oh fuck, I almost cut myself. It's just easier to do this in section. Uh, at least to me, it's just I just find it easier. If you have less chance of making a mistake, and if you make a mistake, it's easier to kind of um, correct it, I guess. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paper. You can take some cotton. I just prefer the paper because the cotton gets kind of low-key stuck. I'm just gonna take a little bit of alcohol on the paper towel. I'm just gonna go over right here where I kind of want the glue to lift a little bit. And just go over the, the whole lace, really. Because <laughs> this makes the little white thingies just kind of disappear. It makes the lace just melt overall. As you can see, like it's lifting right here. That's exactly what I want because I got too much glue on it, which is it's fine. It's cool. It's it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna fix it. Y no lo jale tanto porque la entonces la ega se te va a poner blanca y ahí no va a ver como quien dice vuelta atrás. Va, va a ser más difícil arreglarlo básicamente ok, so ahora voy a coger un poquito de mi spray y nada más voy a ponerme un poquitito aquí uh.
Voy a hacer así. Ahora que me puse el spray donde lo necesito, voy a coger la, la venda de nuevo. I'm going to take my, my headband again. And I'm just going to melt down those areas again that I feel are lifting. I'm just going to... You could use glue again. I just don't feel like it. Si tú quieres, tú puedes usar la misma ega que usaste para más... Um, o sea, si quieres un poquitito más de seguridad, lo puedes usar, pero realmente el spray funciona perfectamente bien. So I'm just going to wrap this again. Yo soy muy, muy, muy impaciente. Si tú quieres, tú puedes dejar esto hasta que tú te terminas hacer tu maquillaje y cosas así, pero yo soy muy impaciente y tengo otras cosas que hacer que yo no me puedo quedar esperando. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the melt. No me puedo quedar esperando esto de por vida tampoco. Ok, but like... Oh. I don't think you guys understand. Yo voy a coger un poquito de alcohol de nuevo. Solamente para limpiarme bien. Ahora no es para levantarlo, es solamente para limpiarme la frente. So I'm just taking some alcohol and I'm just cleansing my forehead because I know I have a lot of glue where I don't have anything glued down. Like I just have a lot of glue on the perimeter, if that makes sense. Esto para ser mío, like this hair literally, like it's just like this is, this is my hair, like what's up? This is mine. What's good? Okay, so this is este es mi problema. Like, I never know if I want to do baby hairs. Because to me, wigs are so pretty without baby hairs. But I do live for a good baby hair. Like, you know, here. So, voy a coger mi cepillito que tiene cepillo y es un peine al lado. It's like a um, edge brush. I'm just going to take some water on the brush. And I'm literally just going to swoop out some baby hairs. This is the thing, I don't always cut my baby hairs. Normally, I'm not gonna say normally, but a veces I just like make them, but I let them kind of be long and I just blend them into the rest of the wig because sometimes when I cut them, they don't come out as nice. Okay, so I'm back. I did my makeup. I didn't do much to the hair. I just parted it properly. And then and then I proceeded to just do my makeup. And now it's just loose. It is what it is. I am in love with this lace. The wig, just overall. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Beauty Forever, baby. Beauty Forever did their thing. They did their thing. I am encanta este pelo. Like, it is so, so nice quality. I fucks with it. I really do. I feel like I'm ready to go to the beach. It looks so pretty, so natural. I hope you guys enjoyed this wig application from start to finish type of video. Espero que les haya gustado. Espero que hayan aprendido algo. If you guys want to check out Beauty Forever, I will leave the links down below to the wig, the product, and everything that I use in this video will be linked down below so you guys can just click your way through it. Todos los enlaces van a estar abajo en la descripción. Por si quieren chequear la compañía, quieren chequear el cabello. If you guys want more hair videos, uh, si quieren más videos de cabello, en peluque, toda la vaina, let me know in the comments down below and I will bring it to you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Adios.